Hello. Tonight we're taking a look at the Roku Netflix Instant Viewing Player. The Roku Player is a small little box that connects to your TV and allows you to watch streaming video from Netflix, Amazon, and possibly other video services in the future. The box was very easy to install and set up. After installing and connecting your Roku box, you'll be prompted with a setup menu. The setup menu is very easy. First, it takes you through a network setup screen. It allows you to search for wireless signals in the area so that you can connect your Roku box to the internet via Wi-Fi. You can also connect the box with a wire using the built-in Ethernet port on the back of the box. After you have your network connection established, the Roku box gives you a activation code, which you then have to go back online using your computer to link your Roku box to your Netflix account. Once your box is linked, you'll be able to start viewing Netflix instant viewing titles. This is the home screen where you can select from Settings, Netflix, Amazon, and What's New. For this demo, we'll be looking at the Netflix options. And here we have my Netflix Instant Queue. I've already loaded up my Instant Queue with 111 titles for this demo. Titles must be added from the Netflix website. Once you have your titles added, it's fairly easy to navigate through the titles, select the title, and read more about the different titles. You can also rate the titles directly from the Netflix box. So let's take a look at one of the Heroes episodes. From Heroes Season 2, Episode 7. Once you select to play a title, you'll get a progress bar as shown at the bottom of the screen. And uh, it takes about a minute for the title to load. Heroes no Zenkai Made no Arasiji. Plane ticket, painting, it all points to Montreal. What is this place? We were right about the company. You're also able to pause titles in mid-play, along with fast search. You can search forward, three different speeds, one, two, three, and you can press play to resume playback after fast searching forward or backwards. After you skip to another destination, it takes a minute to load up again from that uh, point in time. Video quality is very good in my experience, approaching DVD quality. If you're done watching a title, you can click the up button. That'll take you back to the title's selection menu. And it also keeps track of where you left off on each title. So you can resume playing right from the point where you stopped or left that title. Even if you unplug the power to the box and connect it to a different TV, it'll still remember where you left off on each title, which is a nice feature. If you've got a series, which contains multiple episodes, it even allows you to choose from different episodes. You can resume playing from where you stopped, start playback from the beginning, choose different episodes, or you can remove the series from your instant queue. Overall, I'm fairly happy with the selection found on the instant viewing titles. There's a, I, I believe there's approximately 10,000 titles available right now, and that selection does change. Here we have Southland Tales.
And here we have space balls. Scrolling through a few of the titles in my instant queue. You can change the order of the titles online by rearranging titles in your instant queue. If you want to rate a title, scroll down to the stars, click to the side to go to the appropriate star rating, and click select to rate that title. Clicking the remove option will remove the title from your instant queue. Overall, we're extremely satisfied with the Roku Netflix instant viewing player. We love the box. It's very easy to set up and use. The picture quality is excellent. It's very reliable. We don't see any skips or stuttering in any of our playbacks and we love the service. So we give this hardware a big two thumbs up. Highly recommend it. Hope you enjoyed this video demo and if you're interested in adding some more home entertainment to your home entertainment system, the Netflix Roku box is definitely worth a look.